What's going on guys, Real Twilight Spark here, back with another video. This is actually a video, not a live stream. Finally, I'm back to doing actual videos. Um, I am joined by two guests in this video. Uh, I am joined by Rowdy, and I'm also joined by Spidey. What's up? Hey, what's up guys? Hey, what's up? Uh, and... If you haven't seen by the title of this video, this is yet another diecast unboxing. I've actually had these cars for a few, for about a week now, and I haven't gotten around to unboxing them because I've either been too busy with family stuff or busy with uh, other things and like also live streaming and stuff. Mainly busy with my family too, but that's beside the point. Anyway, I do apologize that I'm not doing any more vlogs or anything. I will get back to doing that. But let's get straight into the unboxing. Uh, I have two cars to unbox here. So the first car we're going to unbox is this one. It is Daniel Suarez's 2017 um, 164 scale Eris car. I think this is the only... No, this isn't. This is the third Daniel Suarez car we've gotten this year. So uh, let's take a look at the back. I have practically every single car in this wave except for the 23 Darlington Throwback and the number 6 Darlington Throwback. Um, uh, let me get the camera set back up. There we go. Um... Yeah, I'm not too much of a Suarez fan, but I don't know. Are you guys Daniel Suarez fans? Let's unbox this car. That opened up in a weird way. Okay, then. So we'll get that out of the way. Let's take a look at this. And we see we have another... Uh, you know what, let's get straight into looking at the die cast. Alright, and as you can see as we get it out of the package, uh, we have yet another one of these, uh, I'd like to say magnet, but it's a, yeah, it's a sticker, exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a sticker. Um, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of what Lionel is doing about these. I mean, I do like it better than the magnets, because the... The stickering on the magnets tend to peel really easily. The magnets just get ruined. Uh, it's kind of why I kind of prefer the plastic hoods. And they have a spot on the plastic hoods where you can put the magnet. But I don't understand why they don't just put the magnet on themselves. But uh, I guess I can say I'm a fan of these stickers. Because I guess you can put them somewhere where you want to. But I don't really have places to put these. So I don't know. I guess they're like... Uh, nice collector's piece or whatever um now let's get into what you guys really want to look at the die cast now i must say i am kind of a fan of this i am not really so much of a fan of his 2018 scheme and that is because it looks like carl edwards scheme and i mean if they were gonna do carl edwards scheme why wait why wait until 26 why wait until 2018 why not just give it to him in 2017 but, I don't know, that's Joe Gibbs, that's NASCAR, I can't control what they do. Um, I don't know, what did you guys think of his 2017 era scheme? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty... It reminds me of Carl Edwards' okay. bl It's basically Carl Edwards' orange and white era scheme that he ran in 2016 for a couple races. That's basically what this car is. That's all it is. I don't know, Rowdy. What did you think of the of uh, Daniel Suarez's car of this year? Well, last year. Rowdy, you there? Hold on one sec. All right, so uh, Rowdy, uh, what did you think of uh, Dana Suarez's twenty seventeen era scheme? I like, I like it, but I like this year better because it just reminds me of Carl Edwards' car. Well, it's just a little bit different. Yeah, 
I like that. It's just that, I mean, like I said before in the video, that if they're really going to give Daniel Suarez, uh, Daniel Suarez, um, Carl Edwards' scheme, why didn't they just give it to him in 2017? I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. But, I don't think I need to pick up Daniel Suarez's car this year, um, if it comes out, because... If you guys haven't seen one of my previous diecast unboxing videos, I already got the Xfinity version of this car that was from 2016. I didn't get the championship car, but that's because I didn't want it. Um, yeah, so I got that one. So here's a look at both the diecast. Um, I'm more of a fan of the Xfinity diecast. I love the Xfinity bodies. But, that's just my opinion. Um, and uh, let's get a good close-up of this diecast real quick. Quickly zoom out real quick. There we go. Trying to get the camera to focus, but it's not... Okay, there we go. Um, as you all can see, still no Monster Energy... Alright. Alright, um, so as you guys can see, uh, no Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series logo, no windshield banner, no name banner on the back either still. Uh, they better at least fix the name banner thing, because that's something we at least deserve on one of these cars. But, uh, I don't know. That's the whole thing with, uh, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't produce energy drinks to kids anymore. Especially after 2012 when, uh, they did the 5-hour energy bullshit. Um, yeah, I'm not too, fa not too... What? Well, I have a heart condition. I drink energy drinks. It's kind of stupid of me to do that with my heart condition, but eh. I at least am careful with my heart. But you know what? I don't think I don't think it's such a big deal. I mean, at least add the name banner on the back or something, or at least put them back on the front because <clears throat> I mean, kids are already. People are already making customs. Like, there's actually a way you can actually print off the windshield banner and put them on the windshield of these cars. But, anyway, it's whatever. Let's get on to the next diecast. And finally, the last diecast would have to be possibly one of my top five favorite, um, <clears throat> uh, winter, I mean, uh, not winter circle, uh, spin, I mean, not, not Spin Master. God, I cannot speak today, can I? Um, one of my top five, or even top ten, easily a top ten favorite NASCAR Authentics uh, Lionel diecast um, of 2017. And it is Kyle Busch's 2017 Interstate Batteries paint scheme. I'm so happy to finally get a paint scheme of this. Well, a diecast of this paint scheme that he's been running since, I believe, 2000. 15 I want to say yeah 2015 so it's I'm really happy to get this die cast obviously as you can see we get another sticker so that'll be interesting I actually kind of like that sticker so let's unbox this car um I really wanted to get two of this one to keep it in the box because my dad used to work for interstate batteries and I kind of wanted to give one to him but so there's the box put that down here if you guys don't know i still collect the boxes like the back of the boxes um i don't know if rowdy i don't know if you do all right so we're right now having trouble opening the back of this this thing does not want to cooperate with me come on kyle get out of there Uh, I was asking you, do you collect the back of the boxes of these die cast? Mm, no. No. no, I do. I've I've collected 
I've got a good I've got at least a good like 30 now. So let's go ahead and get a close up of the die cast. So looking at the die cast, this is a very amazing die cast. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um, here's a look at the sticker. Um, wow, they even added the detail of the uh, marketing and the warning labels and everything, the danger zones and everything on the things of the battery. That's actually a really good detail on the interstate batteries. That's actually pro props to uh, Joe Gibbs Racing for adding that, and also props to Lionel for adding that too. That's good. Um, you know, now the thing that you guys really want to look at, the die cast. Um, this is honestly, to me, one of my, like I said, one of my easily a top 10, top, might be a top 5 favorite die cast of this year. Um, I'm really, really happy to get this car. The only Interstate Batteries car that I do have uh, would be his 2012 Interstate Batteries car from Spin Master. And also, I have a 2009 Action Kids Series die cast of the, uh... Interstate Batteries diecast, thanks to my dad, or at least my dad's old boss from Interstate Batteries. So props to them for getting me that, because I told my dad I wanted to get an Interstate Batteries 164 scale, and my dad got uh, my dad's boss got me one. My dad's boss uh, bought one for me, bought one for him, and my dad. So that was pretty cool. Um, I never got. Um, I actually, this is actually the first Gen 6 um, Interstate Batteries car I've gotten, so I'm really, really happy to own this car. Um, still, as you can see, no Monster Energy banner, no Monster Energy Cup Series sticker, no no uh, name banner on the back. Uh, the spoiler, I like how they're making the spoiler smaller on the back. Uh, that's actually a really good addition, because it makes it look like the Super Speedway cars um, for Daytona and Talladega. So that's actually props to Lionel for making this the uh, the uh, uh, b -b 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 the spoiler smaller. Props to Lionel for that. Um, I'm not seeing any errors on this car, not even on the Camry logo. They actually get this right. There's always there always seems to be an error either you on the Ford, but it's usually on the Chevys when they release them. So. I guess props to Lionel for getting these Toyotas done right. Um, uh, there's an Intercept Batteries thing there on the back. I can't really read it. I guess I can try to zoom in on it. Let me see if I can get a good close-up of it. Oh, it's for the Interstate Battery 65th anniversary. Okay. I think that's what it's for. <clears throat> Someone have to correct me in the comments. Uh, that's what it is there on the back deck lid. Um, as you can see, we got M&Ms. I will definitely be doing a die-cast review of this car. Um... Because honestly, this is uh, one of, uh, every every year I love the Interstate Batteries car because my dad used to work for Interstate Batteries and I, I've always, I've always liked Bob of the Bonnie's old Interstate Batteries cars from the uh, early 2000s, late 90s. I've always loved those cars. So the Interstate Batteries car is always a really nice paint scheme. They always come out with a good paint scheme. Obviously, this has been the same for the past few years, but you know what? I still like it. It's still a really good paint scheme, so props to Lionel for finally releasing this um, to diecast. I mean, to uh, regular stores like Walmart and Target. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video there. Thank you all for watching this diecast review. Um, you guys have got anything else to say?
and shout out to NASCAR and shout out to NASCAR Gamer eighteen. But yeah, we're gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching. Um, shout out to both the to both Spidey and uh, NASCAR Gamer eighteen from YouTube for being in this video. Um, yes, shout out to Jason Jacoby, a good friend of mine, great eye racer. I can't wait to do eye racing with you, buddy. And if you're watching this, be sure to leave a like, buddy, because that will really help me, bud. Um, love you all to death. Um, stream coming up later of NASCAR 15 next career mode race. So, yeah. Talk to you all later. Deuces.